Hi hey everyone, how's it going? Well, it's been a while since I made a how-to video, so I decided I'm going to make one. My son and I was working on a weed whacker for a friend, and the recoil spring was bad. And I came up with a way to do it. It was an easy way, instead of having to do it by hand. So I decided to do it. Let's do a video on that and show you how to do it the easy way. So let's go get it done. Here's that recoil spring. We need to get it back into here. And if you've ever done this, you know that's a pain. You can sit here, and you can grab it by your hand, and you can sit here and start going like this. And the problem with that is it takes time consuming, and you can end up cutting your fingers, and it always comes undone, and it's just very, can be very frustrating at times. I've seen others where they take a piece of wood, put a screw in it, put this in there, put a drill there, start doing it. That works. It does. I watched his video. And that was part of what gave me this idea. But then I come up with the something else. This has a slot that this goes through to come in so you know you can hook it. As you already knew that. So his idea, he used a drill. So let's, let's go with that idea. I like that. Cause it made life easier. I just don't remember who it was. I can try to find it on my thing of videos I watched. I mean, maybe I'll give him a mention that way. But what I've come up with is you take this, you put it here. I'm going to try to do this to where I'm not in your way. And let me hold you before I do that. So with the drill in the slot, this part of the spring. You're going to put that in there, and you're going to slowly wind it up with the drill, and if it's done right, it's going to wind inside of here, and this will be there. You may suck it in all the way, but you can always pull it back out, but that's what we're going to go for. I did it the other day, and I like how it turned out, so that is what we're going to try here. We're going to try this. Have it in reverse like you're loosening up so it springs, winds that spring up properly. And we're just going to take our time. We're not going to be in a hurry. We're just going to slowly do it and let the spring just go around. I mean, you can go a little faster if you want. As you get to the end, that's going to start whipping around. And now you got to find that slot. And it just found the slot. So now you're just going to let it spin around to take the tension off. Pull the drill away. Lift this up. And there you go. The spring is in there. How sweet is that? Anyways, so that's it. That's all you do. And you just put it back on there like you normally would. So there's your spring nicely wound up. So have a good day.